Hello there. Welcome to my channel. Today is my first gig in like a really, really long time since the pandemic started in March. So this is like a really, really exciting day. I could barely sleep. I was so excited. So right now, my husband and I, we are on the way to Windsor, Ontario, where I will be recording the Beethoven Oboe Trio with Graham McKenzie and Faith Schofield of the Windsor Symphony. It's been like many months in the making. And I'm really excited to share with you my whole experience of like going in and rehearsing and recording this piece. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. And certainly I'll have some interview time with both Graham and Faith. So I'll get to ask them some fun questions. He is doing the first leg of the driving and then I'm gonna switch and take over. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Ron and I make oboe videos every week. Please feel free to subscribe for more oboe content and so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. As well, you can find me on Instagram at oboron. Stay tuned. How do you prepare for your rehearsals? That's a great question. So when I'm preparing for rehearsals, I really want to know what the repertoire is and I will make sure that I've listened to it. I want to listen to it with the score, like a few different recordings is great. And then I'll play through it uh, with my part. A lot of times a great way is you can have like a rehearsal by yourself by playing along with the recording so that when you go to the first rehearsal, it's not as stressful because you already know you've played it through. Those are kind of the main things. I'll mark up my part with any like relevant things that I need to practice or woodshed. Um, my part for this is fairly straightforward. I'm playing the second oboe part in the Beethoven Trio. So I think it'll be pretty fun. Like I have a few low notes that are quiet, but mostly it'll just be listening and blending and matching and I love playing chamber music for that reason. So I'm here with Graham McKenzie, principal oboe of the Windsor Symphony and uh, we are at break and rehearsal. Graham, how is it going so far? It's really fun to be playing this piece. I've been looking forward to this for a long time, and Ron and Faith are sounding awesome, so it's really fun. I'm pretty tired, though. It's, it's a lot of work up here, but, you know, that's just, that's just part of this piece. Some might say this is almost like an oboe concerto by Beethoven. How do you feel about that? I'm kind of on board with that description. <laughs> it's, uh, I, I mean, it's definitely chamber music. I, it doesn't feel like I'm just playing the melody all the time and everybody else is just kind of making me sound good or something. Like everyone has stuff to do, but it's in terms of the endurance challenges and like just the fact that you have melody so much of the time and you're always prominent in some way, it totally feels like a concerto. If you can spring for this concert series, um, it really is going to be terrific because it's not just concerts, and the concerts are really well filmed. It's you know lots of different angles and close-ups of everyone, and they're making sure they're getting everyone who's playing the solos and that kind of thing. Like it's it's a it, it's a really good video experience and good audio quality. But also there's there are all these interviews. Like all of us had an interview before we did this with the conductor and we talked shop about this piece and oboe and how we came to be playing our instruments. So it's super, super fun. I feel like it's a real, every concert is a unique experience and it really has a story to offer. So definitely check it out if you can. So we just finished both of our rehearsals for the Beethoven, and that one, it went really well, I thought, really fun. 
Um, we're going to have some questions now with Faith Schofield, the second number one English horn player of the Windsor Symphony Orchestra. Going into a rehearsal, it always depends on the personal dynamic and the people you're working with. I thought we got a lot of really good work done. I think we work well together. I think there was a lot of detail, so like what on earth was that shape? Why can't we play that in tempo? <laughs> Apparently we all need to subdivide because subdivision never goes out of style. I've been in this building since 7.59 a.m. Maybe an interview oh is God. like 14 no. hours. Um. <laughs> Maybe not. Although that's not true. I went to the vet. Not for me. I didn't. <laughs> not for you because you're not a cat. <laughs> that's right. Cat lady, not a cat. It'll be intense to record tomorrow. It's 24 minutes of instrument on face and in hand and on thumbs. I think we were both like shaking yeah. the getting blood to flow back into our thumb mm -hmm. calluses. You did actually one very interesting thing, I have to say. There was one break where I was playing, and at the same time, in exactly the same way, you both went like this. <laughs> it was like eerie, it was like you had planned it. <laughs> I saw, I noticed that too. It'll be interesting, I'm curious to see the end product. We are all a little bit exhausted after yeah. this day of double rehearsal. Double trio rehearsal, it's one thing right. to do double rehearsal with. Yeah, I think doubles are hard no matter what. And yeah, like double with trio. In a way, it was easier because of the fact that like we're all like we know we need some time with the instrument off of our faces, but at the same time, it's like the music is very demanding. Yeah. All right, Graham is gonna ask me some questions now, which I'm thrilled to answer. That'd be fun to turn the tables a little bit. This is your first rehearsal in how many months? Or since my when? yeah, my last rehearsal was like March 10th or something like that. So yeah, it's wow. been how many months is that? Seven. <sighs> That's wild. How does it feel to be back? Like, what was like? Were there any surprises, or does it just feel good? Or yeah, it it felt really good. Um, it just was interesting to hear my sound in a different space. Yeah, it was interesting. Just like having people to blend with and listen to and all that, because that's all stuff that I had really not been doing. Like, I've been trying to keep up with my playing a lot and I'm still trying to practice a lot, but I think that the challenge is, it is really insular to only be, you know, playing by oneself, you know, that's by definition, you know. But I'm so lucky that I get to play with these two because they sound amazing. Oh, this is awesome. You sound so good. It's so good to have you here. Thank you. It really is. It's super fun. I hope we'll get to play together again. Yes. Soon. Soonish. Soonish. You never know. You never know. <laughs>